Hello guys, I'm like this because it's very very hot here apparently, it's um, over 80 and we've been told that um, people could die because it's so hot, okay? Anyway, um, today I'm going to eat an out of date cheese and bean roll. Now, these are like sausage rolls, except they're not sausages. They're cheese and um, bean rolls. But what kind of beans? Well, you're looking at this quickly and not realising. You might think it means like green beans or things like kidney beans, um, broad beans. But no, this is actually baked beans. Now, when you say we see things like it, baked beans, first learning... Um, English, it doesn't just mean they've got some green beans to put in the oven. It means like these sort of white beans doused heavily in like some sort of tomato -y type, um, tomato ketchup type, um, and tomato sauce type um, food, okay? And often it, it, you can buy baked beans in a can. And they're very popular over here. I've done other videos where I've done food with baked beans. So I'm not going to do it again. I've done baked beans on toast in another video, so you can look at that if you want. So I'm going to open it now. It says nine. In actual fact, there's like some of them are doubles, so they, it counts as two, but it's really one, but that counts as two for the purposes of the nine. I'll show you what I mean when I open it, so I'm now going to open it. If I can open it. Okay, right now, here, for example, I'll pull this out, and you'll notice if we look very carefully, these two are sort of joined together. Let's look at the back. It's two that are joined together. I came for the purposes of marketing, they've called it nine. But in reality, something like that, about three of them are joined together to make a double and there's three separate singles so for example this was a single on its own okay now inside it says it says it's cheese and bean rolls if i open this up you'll notice it's got looks like chopped up baked beans in the middle and you can have these hot or cold i never tried this before by the way Um, so you can also get cheese rolls here, okay? Well, okay, it's like a sausage roll, but it has this cheese in it for vegetarians, okay? And I could be wrong on this, but I think some. But I saw a video by somebody else, a YouTube video, where they said that Greg's. I sell some pasties with baked beans in them. I know they do, they do, but I think they sold meat with the baked beans instead of like the cheese. Maybe they do Greg's do cheese and baked beans. Well. I do not know, but I think I saw a video where I think they had a pasty which is similar to this, but it's just bigger. Um, and had some sort of mince meat, I think, and baked beans now. This is interesting because usually when I've had baked beans, I've had them hot, okay? And it does say that you can have it hot or cold, but it's very, very hot weather, so I'm not going to... It says... Can be eaten hot or cold. And that's an instruction if you want to heat it. It's very, very hot weather, so I'm not going to. I'm going to, in a moment, cook for my mum a real hot meal for her, even though it's hot weather, but there you go. Um, so... I'm going to eat another one again. Now... To be honest, I think it's a strange combination. Um... 
also just to show you on the back although it's stating the obvious because there's no meat in here but it's got the green V sign suitable for vegetarians it won't be suitable for vegans because they've, it's got egg and probably other things um, I will summarise the ingredients in a moment if I take this off again that's what it looks like inside just take this bit out which I wouldn't normally do but just to show you if I can no it's falling to pieces I didn't I was trying to take that bit out but so it looks like chopped up it looks like it's um they've minced it looks like they're, they're not like solid baked beans it's like they've chopped them all up very finely okay so it's not like normal baked beans where you you know you'd have them whole and as I said this is the pastry I'm playing with one in a moment because this is now falling apart because I've broken it Um, my criticism is that they seem to cancel each other out. I'm not sure they're complementing each other so much, they sort of cancel each other out. It's like the baked beans tend to water down the cheese, and the cheese walks down, down the baked beans to such an extent, I think, that rather than working together. They tend to make it taste more bland. And if it's not got much taste at all, because they seem to cancel each other out. And I'm so... Um, this is the new fucking dude's one that hasn't been broken. It has broken slightly there, but this is I can show you roughly what they're supposed to look like, okay? Pretty much so. And then that's two of them joined together, you would break them up, off, but it's the same for now. And I showed you what was inside them, so they all look the same, okay? They're all the same thing. And. I don't know if this is because it's two days out of date. Um, it's currently the 18th of July 2022 and there's been a recent news story that Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak have pulled out of a planned um, leaders debate that was intended to take part I believe um, tomorrow and that's now been cancelled because Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss have pulled out apparently because they feel that arguing amongst each other on TV is actually damaging the party and they feel they've already had um, two debates and they're hoping why do we need any more I don't know with the, all the potential candidates um, involved so you know so I don't know anyway that's one of the news stories there's obviously a massive heat wave at the moment and we have the news today that the um, Ukrainian president had suspended um, his security chief and also the top prosecutor. Okay, and I could not have known those things a couple of days ago. So there you go, guys. I'm now going to briefly read up what's on the back. Um, also, it gives you some recycling instructions. So. Here for example it tells you how to recycle the packaging um, I dare, because this is about to fall to pieces if I um, I'm not careful and everything will fall out I'm going to try and show you a bit better that says recycle and the other says don't recycle at home so the idea is, is that the actual tray here, the actual cardboard if you like you put that in the recycle bin which they give you um, at, at your home 
and also for the film that means this outer plastic you're meant to put that in a special bag well not a special bag but in a bag um, usually and take that with you um, to the supermarket and then put this in a bag in the supermarket or you could just put this straight into a special thing in the supermarket and the supermarket itself will recycle this okay but you have to separate them okay so this is taken to the supermarket for recycling the plastic and the cardboard you basically put into a special recycle bin in your home okay which may then do um, this should have cost £1.75 because it was reduced. I got it the day it was about to expire. So, instead of paying £1.75, I paid 89p. Um, would I buy it again? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. I mean, it could be because of, you know, it may lack a taste simply because of, as I said, it being out of date. But more likely, I think, is because I think the flavours tend to cancel each other rather than complement each other, in my view. It's neither one thing nor the other. I know that's stating the obvious, but I mean, I really mean it. It's like, almost as if there's not much there, I think, in terms of flavour. But I could be wrong. So it may have been acquired taste and I may change my mind anyway. There you go guys, cheese and bean rolls. And on the waffle it says is mature cheese and baked beans wrapped in a flaky puff pastry. So there you go guys. And at the bottom, and this is going to fall to pages, so it's going to be difficult to show you. Um, I could have shown this I suppose before I opened it, but never mind. Um, here it's got what we call the traffic light. Wait a minute, no, wait a minute. We've got what we call the um. I don't, oh, it's difficult to show you now. One minute. It's got a traffic light system, which tells us you how good or bad the food is for you. Not in terms of whether it's you know not made properly, but in terms of things like whether it's got a lot of fat in it or a lot of sugar and, and a lot of salt and things like that. So this one does badly on saturates. It's got marked as red for saturates, for saturates, I think it's saturates or saturates. Um, it's amber or yellow for fat. It's green for sugar, so it doesn't have a lot of sugar in this, but you wouldn't expect it because of the type of product it is. And it's amber or yellow for salt, okay? That's a better way of seeing it, guys, okay? So there you go, guys. That's often used on food here so that people can make an informed choice about... Um, how healthy the food is. It's not in terms of whether it's safe or not, or things like that, but you know, it's like whether you're eating too much sugar or eating too much salt, that sort of thing. Anyway, guys, that's enough from me. Cheese and bean rolls. Thanks for watching. Bye.